Well, people always say to me, you know, if there's extraterrestrials and if there's UFOs, why don't they make themselves known to us publicly? Well, I think with the space shuttle mission STS-80, that's exactly what they did do. You see um, objects which are out of focus or they are uh, transparent in some kind of way. And the first one comes from behind the space shuttle, comes into the field of view, and they make their way to the upper atmosphere. That's at least what it looks like. Um, it's joined by many others and you get a kind of rough circular formation appearing. And then you get the piece de resistance, uh, the last uh, orb comes into the centre of this formation and as soon as it finds its position it lights up. And then you can see a sort of dance of lights around this formation. Now, this suggests to me incredible intelligence. It suggests to me that they are saying, look at us, look how clever we are. And it's a astounding piece of footage. These extraterrestrial craft are attracted to thunderstorms and many, many times we see lightning on the surface of the planet or in the atmosphere of planet Earth. And as soon as these electric storms start, the UFOs swarm into the area. It's almost as if they're harvesting the electromagnetic energy within the atmosphere and in actual fact um, there are uh, unseen forces in the atmosphere um, etheric flows of what uh, the German scientist Wilhelm Reich described as orgon energy and it could it could be possible that these UFOs are sucking energy from these electric thunderstorms on planet Earth. And this is where they're getting their energy from. You should concentrate on the first object that appears and you will see that it holds its position. Many TV stations have actually broadcast this STS-80 footage, but they only show you the few seconds of the large glowing orb coming from the lower atmosphere. The cameraman who's operating the space shuttle camera is fully aware that the first object has held its position. And after the large orb has uh, ascended from the lower atmosphere um, and the shuttle is moving away from the scene, the cameraman is actually zooming in at the end of the sequence to double check the position of the uh, first luminous orb and it's a fascinating piece of video. <laughs> 